Hey, this is Taylor from KB Foam Strike. Let's hit the road and do some drifting. All right, today we're gonna to be checking out a couple of new Goodwills that I just came across. And starting out here at the first one, I'm spotting myself a Modulus ECS 10, 499. Not too bad of a price for a Strife type of blaster. These things are pretty fun. You got a lot of room to mod it up and put some crazy stuff. You can get like four stages of flywheels in this thing. Really nice battery compartment. So holding on to that for a second. I'm gonna look around, see if I find anything else. Might be picking that up. It's not looking like too much left in here. But then I move over here towards these stuffed animals and what is this? A hand ring dinosaur launcher? Uh, looks kind of like those D darts that have the whole ring thing around them. It's definitely some other type of brand though, but $9.99, this thing is also half off because green stickers are, so it's only gonna be five bucks. And this thing is brand new, it looks like. We got some sticky darts, uh, not exactly half length. They're like two third length. I don't know, some type of weird dart DRM type of thing going on in here. Uh, it comes with a rechargeable battery as well. It looks like an IMR, it says 3.7 volts. It's also got some FVJs in there, but yeah. This thing definitely really cool looking. Uh, never seen it, never heard about this thing. For five bucks in the box, brand new. Definitely gonna be grabbing this. Let's get this and head on to the next store. Stop number two, and we're starting out with a white retaliator. It's got most of its parts, missing the barrel attachment and the foregrip, but let's see how much this thing is. Six bucks, eh. It's not too bad of a price. This thing has seen better days though. This has been left out in the sun or something because you can see how it's starting to turn brownish yellow. Um, but it's got its magazine, so you know, I'm gonna go ahead and leave that behind for somebody to find. And you know, that's a great starter blaster for somebody. Uh, peeking around as well, see if we can find anything else hiding around here. I spot myself a lightsaber over here. Let's see what we got going on. This looks like one of those do-it-yourself build-it ones from like Disney World, I think. Uh, five bucks. Seems like somebody went with a Kylo Ren style and they used green. Not too bad. It's kind of cool. Kind of cool. I mean, not anything I'm interested in, but very cool to see. All right, and then right above that, we got one of these Alpha Strike Blasters. I've never seen this one. I'm not too sure about the name. If you know it, leave it for me in the comments. But we got it for four bucks here, and it looks like a six-shot type of revolver going on with a T-pool in the back. Eh, interesting, but four bucks, eh, not really my style. I'm gonna go ahead and leave that. Next aisle over here, we got a couple of more classic blasters going on. We got a reactor here for two bucks. It has no balls, unfortunately. Uh, then we got an element, I think this is called. If not, let me know in the comments, but yeah, four bucks. And we wouldn't have a classic pistol lying up without a good old Maverick over here. Six dollars, ooh, that's a bit pricey for one of those. Go ahead and leave that as well. And then up here, we got one of these dart tag blasters here, three bucks. It's like a little jolt that you can stick on an end strike attachment. It's kind of cool. Not too bad. And over here we got one of these little tykes bows, I guess you could call it. Um, it launches like little bean bags, best I remember. Not too much of a performance thing, but hey, interesting little find here for a couple of bucks. We'll go ahead and put that back as well though. Nothing I really need. And moving on down, we got ourselves a hellfire going on. Let's see if we can dig it out here. It's missing one of its shields. Uh, it's got quite a few magazines. But yeah, other than uh, missing its other shield, it's not in too bad of a shape. This thing ended up being uh, six bucks, best I remember. Uh, somebody priced it for me, and uh, after that I was like, eh, I don't really need it that bad. These things are kind of more useful without the shield, so if I had picked it up, I would have just snapped the other one off. So, cool find, cool find. Uh, moving down here, we got a couple of these uh, pistol-type blasters as well going on. Uh, we, ooh, we got a whistler dart here, dart tag whistler dart. Uh, let's scoot that out of the way. And we got a couple of night finders going on down here. We got a blue one here. Uh, pretty cool looking color scheme, three bucks. Not too bad. Let's go ahead and load that up with this dart. Maybe some uh, lucky customer will get it and have a good time with the whistler darts. And moving up here, we got ourselves another night finder. We got the yellow one up here. Uh, yeah, a couple other old school looking blasters. We got this Busby Ultimate System thing. Uh, I don't really know too much about this. If you do, go ahead, drop me a comment about it, but it looks like it was an air-powered type of thing, best I, I could tell, but not too much over there. And we got ourselves another yellow Night Finder, $2.99 as well. So pretty consistent pricing, not too bad. Uh, picked up this thing and ended up being like a fishing rod. Wasn't too sure about it, but eh, 
always got to check stuff like that if it looks cool. And then over here, we got the Adventure Force Blaster. This is the Ballistic Ops uh, Chronos style blaster, $399. Pretty good shape. Uh, nothing I really need, but yeah, this is a really interesting one where you have to like hold that little, almost a rev trigger just to get it to fire. It's like a little lock, but putting that back as well. And then we got a cross cut over here. This is just a fun one right here, the getting to spin the little saw blade, a lot of fun. But ooh, $5, uh, gonna go ahead and pass on that as well. Get a couple more spins in and just leave that behind. Then as I was making my way to the other side, I saw some bags and ooh, this one's really cool. $5.99, we got ourselves a Minnie Mouse Vans backpack. You know, my sister, she's really into that type of stuff. So for that deal, I'm gonna pick that up for her. But whoa, what is this we got hiding back behind here? Oh my goodness, we got ourselves a dump pouch? What is this thing? We got like a molly vest going on here? It's got like a Velcro thing on it, uh, something to put like a compass. Man, let's see how much this thing is. This is really cool just for the dump pouch. I would love it. Whoa, $3.99. Yeah, buddy, that is a steal of a deal. The dump pouch alone, that's about 20 bucks. So yeah, $4, I'm definitely grabbing this thing. I ended up looking it up and it's like a car seat thing for a Jeep. Really weird. All right, moving on to the next door. Here we are at the next store and starting out we got a powerball here 399 this is a really good uh rival style blaster it shoots little balls it's very powerful it can hit about 100 fps as far as i remember uh and it's got its hopper here on it and somebody zip tied it on there so really cool that that ain't going anywhere it seems so but i already have one of those and i'm gonna leave that behind and the only other blaster here we had was this spider-man one for 99 cents it's like a little arm wrist mounted jolt Pretty cool looking design, but nothing I'm ever gonna use, so we're putting that back. As day shifts tonight, we move on to the next Goodwill, and ooh wee, we got a couple of things going on in here already. Let's pick this up. We got ourselves a brain saw here, $1.99. That's the prices I like to see. That's what I'm talking about. Let's check this thing out. Really cool. Pretty fun little gimmick, kind of like the cross cut. You can pull the little rip cord and chainsaw spins around. I'm gonna set that to the side real quick because, ooh, I see something else under here hiding. We got ourselves a Sonic Ice Blaster. What do we got going on here? Oh boy, I didn't even know this thing existed. $1.99 for a Mega Thunderbow Sonic Ice Edition. Yeah, buddy, I'm definitely grabbing this thing. That's a lot of fun. I'm definitely getting that. It's really good shape really sick color scheme i didn't even know they made it in that Ooh, there's a rival artemis hiding under there we'll get to that in just a second but up here on the top shelf sticking with the mega blasters we got ourselves a mega thunderhawk with its clip and it's got the priming bar still attached to it it's still got stickers on it 2.99 oh my goodness i've never seen one this cheap i'm definitely grabbing this as well really cool looking blaster i've seen them before but they're always either missing the clip or they got something wrong with it but yeah 2.99 for that i'm grabbing it for sure and now let's go ahead and put that down on the ground real quick. Let's see if we can check out this Artemis. See how much this bad boy is. We got a blue one here. And yeah, buddy, that's what I'm talking about. $1.99, two bucks for an Artemis. I will get that any day. That is a great, great blaster. It's perfect for loaning out to people. Holds 30 rounds. Pretty accurate with the rival stuff, hitting around 100 FPS. Great, great blaster. Yeah, buddy, that's a great find. Let's see if we can get this thing uh, primed up because it's uh, been sticking like that for a little bit. I'm sure that the spring isn't in the best condition, but let's see if it pops. Let's clear that right there. Yeah, it's firing. Doesn't sound too strong, so I'll have to test that out. But hey, for $2, you can't complain. Ooh, another lightsaber going on at this different store here. Let's see, this one was $2.99, so it'd be a buck fifty because green's half off. It's one of the good ones that makes uh, sound and it's got like a good light tube in it, but it's missing its battery cover, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave that one behind. And moving down the aisle, we got another blaster. We got, I think it's an Exterminator, Eliminator. Yeah, $1.99 as well. Little shotgun style blaster with a big pool in the back, X-Shot blaster. Pretty cool, pretty cool. You know, all these blasters, I think I'm gonna have to go get myself a cart and figure out what I'm gonna be going home with. Man, talk about some great finds here. It's not every day that I get a shopping cart full of stuff. And moving on down the aisle, I started to see some more stuff and we got ourselves another blaster, this Ninja Turtles Mega Blaster. It's interesting because the trigger rotates the cylinder and then by pulling on the bar, that's how you actually fire the dart. Two bucks, so yeah, their pricing here is very consistent, really nice deals. Uh, I've already kind of made my decisions of what everything I'm gonna be getting, so I put back the brain saw up here and I'm gonna stick this Ninja Turtle Blaster with it as well. 
and then we got a couple other cool little things i saw this little spongebob prehistoric guy going on pretty fun little figure going on right here uh nothing i really need but you know it's always fun gotta love spongebob and then up here we have this maui hook from moana i found this once before i thought about using it as melee but it's a little too hard for that 2.99 not too bad of a deal but i'm gonna be putting that back and heading on to the last store All right, final Goodwill of this trip. And we got ourselves another brain saw here. Let's see how much this one is. Ooh, five buckaroos. Eh, if I wanted one, I would have grabbed it at the last store. So we're gonna go ahead and put this one back. But yeah, five bucks, much more than the last place. And moving down here, we got something I've never seen before, a modulus stock shot. It would have only been a dollar cause green was half off, but it's a stock with a built-in blaster. Really cool, holds four shots and it's got a pretty big plunger tube. So it might have some modding potential, but Unfortunately, I passed on this one. I really wish I would have picked it up after knowing that the green was half off, but I totally forgot when I was going. It was late at night, but really wish I would have grabbed that. Up there also, we had a strong arm, but that was about it. And as I was leaving, I saw this weird arcade machine called Shoot It Up. You know, nothing I really would be too interested in, but something I thought I'd share on the video. Really cool, you know, you don't really see this type of stuff every day. But $250, and uh, I ended up plugging it up and playing it for a round. It, it was kind of interesting. You uh, you got this little stick down here that you pull on to shoot your basketball, and you're trying to score as many points, and it's like a prize objective game. Pulling in here, just checking it out. They got the keys there. And uh, yeah, this thing, really cool. But yeah, right here, it looks like it would dispense prizes, or you could set it up for tickets, I guess. I, I don't really know, but really cool find to end the day and that'll do it for this trip went home with some really cool stuff today we got a sonic ice thunder bow rival artemis that dinosaur ring and a mega thunderhawk as well as that molly dump pouch so really really cool stuff thank you so much for watching go ahead like share comment subscribe if you want if you want to check out some more of my thrifting adventures click on that playlist if you want to see some of my gameplay go for that one Thanks again, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one.